What's up everybody? This is Spare with a Gun from Sleepless Nights and welcome back to our How to Train Your Turtle series. So, good news and bad news. The good news is I thought of a few more ideas for our managing script that I would like to do for one I didn't really think about this before, but for some reason I don't know how I overlooked it, but the receiving or, or managing script really isn't set up to receive a function with arguments. And when I thought of that, I remembered that when I was writing this script, I was just doing simple stuff like the test one um, to try it to see if it would work. Um, but I meant to go back and add stuff to it to where it it could receive um, arguments so that you could run programs such as excavate for the turtles and you know it would be excavate 30 whatever right now um, it would try and run excavate 30 as one program there's no argument um, what's that word deliminator delimitate delimitate um, there's nothing separating the two <laughs> shut up I'm tired um, so don't judge me um, I have my other turtle. Um, this one I've actually used for mining. As you can tell, I had him on a charging station for a while. Um, I don't have the startup script on him. Oh, yeah, the bad news. I forgot about the bad news. The bad news was I'm trying to tinker with the manage and rtalk commands. Um in order to make it to where it not only receives it can, or it can send and receive arguments but also just overall optimize it a little bit more I found a few more things because I, I am in no way an expert on Lua I barely worked with this stuff I just started when I got into computer craft um, when we started our uh, Feed the Beast series on YouTube here um, so I really don't know everything or all the ins and outs or all the, you know, deeper functions to it. And I found a few that might be helpful. I'm still trying to get my finger on the tables and how to format them a little better because I'd like to eventually get rid of all the, um, all the, uh, coding for cutting the script and all that. It would make the, um, it would make the, the whole process a lot simpler, I guess, if you could do it all through a table, even adding arguments, because you could basically put it in a loop to where, um, you know, if so-and-so is equal to blah, 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 then you could, you could go through and just set it all up um, in one loop, rather than having to cut it and check and see if it needs to be cut and all, all that stuff. Oops. Um... But I was trying to do a few different things, and I inadvertently broke it for now. Um, it's it's not sending messages, or it's not... I was trying to fix that RedNet issue that we had at the end of the last episode, where this was running, but it wasn't receiving and displaying the RedNet signal, and so was this, but it was still moving. And in trying to fix that, I kind of broke it worse. Because <laughs> um, now... They don't actually transfer files between each other. And this turtle, when you run send to that computer, will actually print it on the thing instead of sending it to the computer. So I, I kind of broke it. Um, so, yeah, I don't think we're going to be transferring by wireless for a little bit until I can sit down and work on that script a little bit more and get it fixed. But... In the meantime, I wanted to start building up some turtle scripts. Now, I think I have uh, most all of my scripts on... Oh yeah, since this is Shredder, I'm sticking to the turtle theme. So this is Raphael, and he's got a red pickaxe, accordingly. Um, the ones behind the wall don't count. They're just... They're, they're wall turtles. They're not part of my turtle characters. Um, eventually, I'll, I'll start having to branch out, I'm going to end up running out of turtle names. Um, but yeah. Um, daydreaming over here. Um, look at me, I can't even type tonight. Um, what do I have on the disk? So, build room, expand room, full room, all those are, are new room. Those are all 
turtle scripts that I've used to... I, I was... I'm eventually, when I figure out... I. Okay, let me back up. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm babbling. Um, basically, I had an idea in mind for the dimensions I wanted for rooms, and I was writing a script that kind of works, but is definitely way too bulky and not efficient enough that for what it was. Um, but it was designed to where you could put a turtle down, give him the right amount of ingredients, tell him to build a room, he would go through, clear it out, he'd back up, he'd put all the wood planks down, etc. Um, and then I moved houses. Um, <laughs> so that's kind of been rendered moot at this point. So I'm going to have to revise those and, and edit them and all that stuff when I actually do figure out what I want to use. Um, but I, I did a lot of mining underground under this, uh, what I call the dirt tower. And that's part of why I moved over here is because it will, this is going to kind of be my house part up here, hence the TV monitor and all that. Um, and then when you go down past this is going to end up being into my mines and machine rooms and all that good stuff. Um, so I'm going to head on down there and um, I, I'm going to show you what the next part of our project is. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, so we're back. Um, this is part of where I was mining for a turtle. I like the excavate command. What can I say? It, it goes all the way down to bedrock. It's nice. What can I say? Um, but... Oh, and this is my first excavation that I did. What's up? Well, not first. Um, this was my first big excavation with the turtle. No? Was it? I did some 20 by 20 areas in other sections over in our our mine. Um, lava farm, what the heck? Um, so, but this was this was my first big big excavation with a turtle. This is a 40 by 40 room. Um, it's 38 by 38 actually when you count the walls because uh, that's a block in. So actually it's 39 and then 38 by 38 is the foot foot pattern. So we're going to go down and check this out. So I wanted to use the Zycorium bricks and stuff because I had a lot of them from the quarry and I didn't really have a use for them. Um, and I like the marble and the blue. I think it looks cool. And I needed a big symbol for something. Um, so, yeah, yin yang just I don't know seemed to be the thing to seemed to be the thing to put there at the time. But you'll uh, eventually. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing with this yet. I I cleared too much space and then didn't know what I, what I was gonna do. Um, but, as you can see, I've done this. This was the quarry area that it mined, where we set up our quarry in the FTB series. Um, but you'll notice that when, when I did these, they ended up with walls, like this. This is a 2 by one or whatever. That's another one over there. This one has a one... Uh, there was one wall dividing these two. So, what I'd like to do to truly maximize my space and know how much room I really have to work with as I build my base down here, um, what I would like to do is write a script that the turtle will get rid of the walls along the edges. Um, I think for, the, for now, I'm only going to write this according to one wall because you can always write a wrapping um, script that would basically call the wall thing and then when it's done bring it back up, reposition it, call it again, bring it back down, reposition it, and so on and so forth. Um, so yeah, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started here. And like I said, I was gonna intend- I, I intended, um, well, actually, you know what, I can. I was gonna say I intended to write it on on the the main computer and then just tell it to do it by rednet um but since the the rednet commands or the management script that I wrote is kind of broken um I wasn't going to be able to do that although 
you know what? I still can't. I just won't use that particular script. So let's let's real quick. What programs does he have? So he has most of the commands. Just those two are broken. So let's make um. Let's make a. Oh, um, this is for the wall script that's going to take down the wall. Um, so let's call this open wall because it's going to open up the walls. Um, now, what I want to do first, I, I know I'm going to need um, arguments, so we're going to make an arguments table. Um, and then I'm just going to save it for now. What I'm also let's let's see let's make a um, let's see uh, what should we call this? Let's do red wall for now. So it's the red net version of calling the wall. So what we're going to do is type shell run. Um, Oh. Um. Hmm. I didn't think of that. No, nope, we're not gonna do it by red net. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I was thinking it would be simple to do. Well. No, no, no. It might. It, it'll. It, it'll still be simple. I think. Maybe. Uh, yeah, what we'll do for this, since I don't really want to get into all the, um, <sighs> yeah, get into all the different things in, in terms of, um, writing the deline delineator, I think is the word, the separator between the string to, to filter out the arguments and all that stuff, and I don't want to get into too much complicated. So what we're going to do is we're just going to have it call, let's do local, um, I don't even need it to, I don't even need it to um, send the command because we're just going to call it here. Um, that would be, what did I say that was? Crap. Um, Man, I'm tired. I can't remember anything today. <sighs> Open wall. Um, so let's do... Open wall is command. And then local... Um, local arg equals oh let's let's do this id arg equals net.receive oops and then and then it's already going to be a string which is good so we're just going to call shell run I don't, I don't know if you need that or not. We're gonna, we're gonna put it there, just in case. And then, um, I don't know. I don't think you need it. Open wall and then arg. Let's see if it'll run. Red wall. Oh, I'm, I'm an idiot. I am just too darn tired tonight. Um, I guess it would help if I opened up the, um, modem, wouldn't it? After it receives the command, we're going to just go ahead and close it. See, it's, 
easy to work with RedNet when you know exactly what you're going to do. The hard part is um, is when you're writing scripts. Okay, so this is on. So that's going to basically wait. You know what, I'm going to pick it back up. I don't know why I don't know why I did that cuz I can't get the I'd still have to write it in um in the turtle that way I need to go back to my disk drive so that I can transfer it dad gum it all right well I guess I'll meet you guys back upstairs all right and we're back um yeah I don't I don't know why I did that I'm stupid sometimes Okay, let's do open wall, and you know what? We're just gonna we're gonna delete this one off of here. I don't I don't know what I'm thinking. I don't need that here yet. Um. Okay, now we're now we're to the nitty gritty. Um, as we said, we know we're gonna need an arguments table. Now, what I want to do is set it down, tell it how many spaces to go, and have it go down to bedrock. But you're also going to need the Y coordinate so it knows how far to go before it ends up getting stuck. Um, so, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're going to need to do that. So. I'm going to place him basically one back from where it dug the hole, hence the wall. So what I need it to do is dig one down, and then turn right, and then go along that wall. And then we're going to do some different things. So um, let's, let's declare our variable section. Not declare comment. It's really not a, a declaration of anything. Um, functions, because I'm going to make a couple functions. First one is um, UE. <laughs> Get it? UE. <clears throat> I'm tired. Leave me alone. Um, so, what this is basically going to do is just turn him around. Turn right. Turn right. Congratulations, that's a function. Um, so let's see, and then we're going to do a function called, let's do row, and that's probably going to be most of the meat of our program here. Um, let's, let's real quick go ahead and take care of our variables. Uh, so the first variable is going to be distance. Um, and that will be to, to number trgs1. Yeah, I think that's right. Local um, y equals number trs2 and this that's basically going to set up um, how long the wall is and how far down to go um, now real quick so that I know I've got my argument statements right I'm going to tell it to print to number distance and then oh not number what am I doing dang see tiredness tiredness man tired and programming is not a good combination um why so let's run open wall five and six five and six all right cool 
So that is the right pattern. So what we're going to do, and then let's do a comment section for main, which is basically these functions are going to get called inside main. So the first thing we want to do is set him up. So he's standing on where you start him, right? But he needs to go down one and then turn right, and then you start um, your row. So we're going to say, um, wow just totally spaced out there for a minute. Um, turtle dig down. That'll get rid of the first block he's standing on. And then turtle turn right. And that will line him up for the correct trajectory so that then we can run row. And that, oh, let's do another function called check or chk inv. So check inventory. Um, this is going to look and see if his inventory is full. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. What am I doing? Um, I'm not worried. I, see, you should probably code in a fuel. Um, a fuel command, like a check fuel, and if fuel's empty, then, I don't know, um, dig it up, or I mean, uh, refuel it, um, but since he's got 260,000 moves on him, I'm not all that worried about it. So, that's something that if I was being very thorough, I would include. Right now, I'm not being thorough. Um, I just want to see if this will work, and get it set up so that it can work. Um, the check inventory I'll deal with in a minute. So the first thing is you're basically... Oh, um, that was the other thing that I wanted to set up is a variable for um, current position. Now, this isn't going to be a true... Um, a, tr a true true position because without the without manually going in and, and setting up a coordinate for every XYZ um, like I did one for Y obviously but for doing one for everything unless you did something like that there's the turtle doesn't have like specific commands to find out where it is unless you do a GPS system which I'll probably end up doing at some point I haven't looked into it it's something like you have three computers in a or four computers or something in a in a certain vicinity, and they're set up to be GPS mode or routers or something, and then you put a GPS module or something in things. I don't remember how all it went. Um, I saw a video about it in um, Good's Turtle stuff. He he made GPS stuff, but um, it wasn't like a tutorial thing or anything, so I don't really know exactly how to do it all. But to my knowledge, unless you manually go in and set up like something where it asks for the XYZ coordinates or you have GPS, there's no way for the turtle to know where it is. So this isn't truly a current position. What this is going to be doing is telling us where in the row it is and allow us to um, increment it. Uh, and we also need... A current Y. Um, actually, no, we don't, because we can just use five. I want it to go to layer five, so we don't need that. Um, so it dug the first. Now I set current position to one because he's gonna dig down. Right when you put him down and run the command, he's gonna dig that first block. Out. So if you set it to something like zero, then you you need to insert 39, which nobody wants to do. So that's the first block. Um, so distance is going to equal. So for for that square down there, it was a 40 by 40 grid. So distance is going to equal 40 when I run it for that square down there. So what I want to do is set up a loop. Um, we'll do a for loop 
where uh, actually we'll we'll remove this. So C position or current position equals one and then we want it to go until it hits distance. We want it to increment by one and then do and then close. So that should set us up to where it's starting on one since you dug this out and then it's going to go until it's equal to distance and it increments every block. So, um, what we're going to do is while, I, yeah I know I'm, I'm doing another nested loop but bear with me, it's while, um, not turtle dot dig do now what this does is um, it's pretty much set up to where it's going to it, it'll dig once or, or try to and then return a value so if it returns um, true wait a minute I should probably do that in an if command um. well let's see because what I'm what I'm trying to do is account for things like gravel before he moves where you dig and then something drops in front of you um, so no, I should I should have this equal to true. Cause if it dug something, then it'll come back true, and then it's gonna try again. Um, and then if it's false, it'll end the loop. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna leave this as true. So while it can dig, and there's something in front of it, then it's gonna dig. Um, well, yeah, it's it's going it's gonna try and dig, at least, until it can't. Um, now, the interesting thing here... Actually, no, we'll do this, we'll do this the right way. We'll do, we'll do it the right way. We'll do a detect. Um, let me see here. Uh, Where's the detect? Okay, so detect up and detect. Down. Okay, so what we're going to do is while it de while detect is true, um, the turtle's going to dig, and then when it becomes false, it's going to end the loop or end that loop at least um, and then we're gonna move the turtle forward and then we're going to increment oh wait no that'll work because this way it's gonna loop starting at one it's gonna detect if it's got something in front of it it's gonna dig um, Now, the only problem I see here is, let's see if, if I'm on 39, it's going to dig, and it's going to loop up. Okay, so we're going to add one more forward command. Or wait. Hmm. What I'm thinking is when it hits 40, I don't know if it runs again, or once it hits 40, then it won't do anything. Um, let's say...
All right, what we're going to try here is Yui. We're going to use that to see how it works so far. Um, and I don't, I don't want to do it, but I, I might just end up, um, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to end up working down there on this, um, because as, as much as, as much as I'm going to end up changing and, and all that stuff, Um, it's probably better to do it this way. Alright, so I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, and we're back down here at our little square test area thingy. Um, so now I'm just going to run it the way it is and see what happens. So he digs down. I don't have a move down command. Hmm. Or limit must be a number. What? Uh, I have it set to a number. Oh, I can be I can be a knucklehead. Um, and I also don't have a move down. Dummy. Dummy, dummy, dummy. Okay. Let's get this out of his inventory. Okay. So, the current Y is 47. So he's on 47, and we need a 40 block square. So, we're going to open wall... 40 and 47. Down, over, over. Good. Looking good, looking good, looking good. I don't have any gravel or anything to test him on. Now, in theory, if the math is right in our loops, he should get to the end, and when he gets to the end, or what he thinks is the end, he should spin around. Um, in theory. Oop. So he's one off in our math. So that's a simple fix of... Um, Basically, just setting the. Uh, oh, there's gravel. That would have been a good, good call. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna run him. I'm gonna run him again. Why not? What are you? What are you? Definitely not iridium. That's what I wanted to see. Um. Oh, he's turned the wrong way. Um, open wall, 40, 47. Now let's see how he does with gravel. Very nice. Now let's see if that messes the map, math up at all. <sighs> oh, it won't matter yet. I was going to say I put the Y factor in wrong, but I haven't p uh, coded that part yet. See what happens when he gets the end. He's almost there. Go, 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 go. Oh, oh, up, 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 up. Okay, so that gravel did throw him off because he's off by uh, two. Okay. Okay, so yeah, I want him here. I don't. I, I know we're getting close to the end of our time, but I really didn't want to end the episode until I got him to do at least one row, because then it'll just be 
um, doing some row stuff. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here is add a sleep command so that he won't try immediately um, to um, so that he won't immediately try to dig again because that's what's happening is when the gravel falls somewhere in that period it fell fast enough that he skipped like oh, okay and he tried to move couldn't move and then he dug again which counted as another iteration in the loop so that's why he's off here the other thing I want to do is set current position to zero All right, so what Y are we on now? 46. Okay. Open wall. 40, 46. I was going to say, this much, it'd probably be much faster because he kind of already did everything. In theory, he would be digging, though. I don't know why they blink, too. It's like they move too fast for the rendering or something. Or maybe it's my texture pack. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, why is he... What, wait, whoa, where are you going? Where are you going? Why are you going all the way up? What the heck? What just hit me? Okay, the turtle is hitting me. He's... Oh. What? What is that? He just don't like me. Raphael, he's he's mad. He doesn't he does he's not happy. Um That should have shortened it though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, three, four, Huh. I don't know why he's going so far. Because he should be stopping here. And he's going two blocks further than what he should be going. <sighs> well, and he's punching me. Why? I don't know why he's doing that. Um... Okay, well, I'm going to try and work on that in between, um, uh, over the, over the weekend before I record another one of these, and I have another script to fix, and hopefully I don't break this one. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I hope this was somewhat helpful, even though it's broken, I will try and fix it, um, so I'll hopefully see you guys next time where we perfect this script. Peace. Hey guys, um, I just wanted to real quick um, add this in here. I know the I said the episode was over, but psych, I gotcha. It's not. Um, no, after after I recorded that, I started tinkering with this a little bit more, and I I think I've got it working for the most part. Um, the one thing I haven't implemented, because to be honest, I really don't know how to do it per se in terms of. It would really overcomplicate the script for what I'm really using it for. I'm not really using it to get all these resources and stuff, although it's good to have them. Um, but I didn't. I didn't include the um, the return script. Like if his inventory gets full, come back and you know put a chest up here and dump it at the chest. I didn't put that in there. That is. Um, That is what the check inventory thing is for, and as you can see, I'm, I kind of started working on it, but it's uh, I don't want to get into it right now. But the just the digging the wall part out, um, I haven't tested it all the way to bedrock or, or layer five where I told it to stop. Um, I'm gonna do that in a minute, but I'll probably put that in the next video. I'm assuming it will because my math, I think. 
works right. I think it. I think it's correct because everything else is working right. It's just, you know, the waiting game of waiting till it goes all the way down to there, which is very dull and tiresome, and I don't feel like doing it tonight. Um, so that will probably be in the next episode of showing the end result of what he does. Um, but here's the here's the script. What I've changed. I did end up adding this uh, the current Y factor back so that it can test to see if it's at layer five or not. Um, I did this because if you use Y, you have no return value to bring it back to where did I start. Um, so. <sighs> Essentially, what I'm thinking is for when I get into writing the script for moving the turtle back, it's going to come down to current Y, um, and then, I don't know, um, probably in the in the row loop using the, um, I changed that function a little bit also, row now starts with I equals 1, because like a dummy, it went too far, so I lowered the initial number, which actually made it go farther. That's why it went further the last time, so that was dumb. I'm getting tired. Um, and then I, what I ended up doing was I added one here, and then I dis, uh, minused one from distance, which is honestly really kind of weird, because I've counted this out like three or four times, and it is 40 blocks long. Um, but yet it's basically saying I'm going to start at 1 and go to 39, and that works. Um, I don't quite get that, really, because um, I counted it as that's 1, and then this is 2, and 3, and 4, and it ends up being 40, so I don't know why 1 to 40 won't work, but whatever. So you can either do 0 to distance, or 1 to distance minus 1. Actually, you know what? Uh, I think I'm actually going to change this to that, because that makes it just neater and cleaner. Um, so, while turtle detect, it sleeps one to check and then moves forward. Um, it, it basically digs till it can't find a block anymore and then it moves forward. When it gets to the end of this loop, as in it's gone all the way over, then it turns around. Um, and then, I'm going to skip that part because I haven't finished it yet. And then the main function here, what I have it doing, is it digs down once, and then it moves down, turns right, and then it starts basically the row loop, where while current y is greater than 5, greater than or equal to 5, um, I did this because I want it to actually clear the fifth row, um, but I don't want it to dig down. So what I did was it calls row at the beginning of the loop and then it updates the Y factor as in I got to the end so now I'm gonna go down another layer. Then if Y is um, uh, hold on I think I messed that up because this will be 6 then it sets Y yeah yeah, I messed that up. Um, huh. I was thinking at the end, um, but what I needed to do... You know what? We need to move this. Um, what I'm going to do is add this line... I'm glad I I'm glad I decided to try and record this because I wouldn't have caught that otherwise and it probably wouldn't have made it all the way down. Because what I wanted to do oh stop reorganizing my inventory. Now, most I I don't know that Lua doesn't have this. I, I find it hard to believe that it doesn't, but most function most um programming languages have like an iterator like this to where CY plus plus is basically just gonna add one to CY. Um, I haven't seen anything on Lua about having this. If you know of one, let me know. Um, but this works too. It's basically saying CY is going to equal current Y minus 1, and then store it back into current Y. So it's basically just deducting 1 from whatever it currently is. So the way this is going to work now is when, uh, it's, it like, for example, um, I set the Y for what it 
what it is when it starts, and then it goes down one. So when it goes down one, it's going to change its Y layer to whatever it is. And then it's going to call row. Um, and so it's going to get to the end of the row, and then if it's if current y is not equal to to five, then it's going to dig down, move down, and then loop again. Um, if it's the last loop, for example, it's, it, it, this works until if it's while it's greater than five or equal to five. So once it's equal to five, it's going to run one more time, which is why I reorganized the code. So once it goes down and it's equal to five, it's going to run a row, and then. Um, uh, um, actually, I'm going to change this because I think I think what's going to happen here is, assuming you get to the the last layer, it's going to be equal to five, but then see why it, at the beginning here is going to knock it down to four. Um, so then it's going to do the row on the fifth layer. But CY is going to see it as this is 4, so then when it gets down here, if it's less than or equal, um, or no, I should put greater than. So if it's greater than or equal to 5, it digs down, goes down, and does it all over again. Um, but if it's equal to 5, so you're on the last loop, then it's going to set this to 4, do a row, this is no longer going to be greater than or equal, so then it's not going to dig down. And then when it ends that loop, it's not going to be greater than or equal to either, so then it's going to end. So that's basically my script for um, tearing out this wall here, and it kind of works the same way. Um, let me give you a quick demo. I won't uh, make you endure the whole... Um, I'm going to fly. So he'll... Okay. So there he goes. And he's off and he's moving. Um, but it's, it's... You can use something like this to write your own scripts and stuff. And you can see how it works with moving the turtles along on their own and all that good stuff. Um... So, uh, this shouldn't bother it, I don't think, either. Because I think I have it set to where if it detects it just, or if it can't detect it, just moves. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it works. I, I, oh, 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 that's a hole. I do need to, because see how fast his inventory is filling up, I, I do want to set up some kind of script. I've never actually tried to do it before to where he comes back, and I think what I'm going to end up doing is putting it in the row loop to where after he digs, he checks his inventory. Oh, come on. What? <sighs> See, I don't understand. Alright, alright, just just to prove it to you, I am not crazy. Um, um, hold on, hold on. Ah, lots going on. Hold on, i got to pause the video. I'll be right back. Hang on. Okay, sorry about that. Um, yeah, a lot, a lot happening there. Get out of the, get out of the way. Um, yeah, the, the turtle was messing up, and then my dog was barking at me. It was just madness, and I started falling. Anyways, I, I don't understand it, because mathematically it doesn't make any sense. Um, but I went back and I edited it to where I is back to equal to one. Now, I haven't... I didn't think about these torches. I wonder if it'll... Nope. I guess it digs them. Cool. Um, but it shouldn't... It shouldn't... It shouldn't... It shouldn't... It shouldn't... Stops. It goes down. Dig. So for whatever reason, mathematically this makes no sense to me, because I equals zero, and going until it hits distance should be the same as i equals 1 and going to distance minus 1. That... No, actually it wouldn't. Wow, I'm really tired. I just I just made that connection. Um, so it's actually only going 38 blocks. I don't get that. I counted this. This is... 
it's 40. Although, if my math is anything to do with it, apparently I can't add or subtract. So let's see, we've got... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, s Crap. Yeah, ah, yeah, I'll count that later. Um, but yeah, you can see that he's turning where he's supposed to, and... Um, is digging the way he's supposed to. The only the only issue is going to be um, his inventory, because if I did like one of these without stopping him and picking him back up or anything, and I just let him dig the whole way down, he would probably run out of inventory space, which it, it could be a problem unless you're following along behind him, because you're not going to be able to pick up whatever drops he doesn't pick up after he's full. Um, so that's something that I definitely want to look into, but am not. Honestly, I don't really even know where to start on that. I, I am going to try and do the um, comparing. My, my plan is that in the row function, every time he digs, I want him to run through and check his inventory and see if he's full. How I'm going to determine if he's full or not, it, uh, I'm thinking if he's got all of his slots full. Because even if he's got, like two slots of cobble and they're not full yet, if he runs across a new ore that he doesn't have in his inventory, then he's just going to end up dropping it because all the slots are full. So I think what I'm going to do is if the slots are full, then I'm just going to see if I can have him like go up until CY equals Y and then go like forward or backwards, depending on... See, that's the other thing, is I don't have a way to determine what direction he's facing. Um, so I'll have to figure out how to do that. But my idea is have him basically take current Y and go up until Y... E or current Y is equal to Y, and then use the distance variable and the I variable in the loop of the row and have him go back... Um, to like a chest and then dump everything um, and then possibly have a second set of variables that stores where you last were and then having basically retrace his steps and then come back and then do the loop all over again. It's a little bit more fuel but again if you've got some kind of like charging station or something like I do um, the fuel's really not that big of an issue because usually I just uh, I'll stick them on the charger and then I forget about them and I go do other stuff and by the time I come back, you know, like like Raph here, he's got two hundred some thousand moves. So by the time he's done with this, he probably won't even really need to be refilled at all. Um, but yeah, I wanted to real quick jump back in and show you that. Um, I did get the script part working, it just doesn't have the inventory management section set up, um, but the script itself actually is working and it is digging, um, so the next step, I think my next step is actually going to be the red net way, so I can put a turtle there, a turtle there, a turtle there, and one here, and then just do a broadcast and all of them will just dig out the walls, um, is I think what I'm, what I'm going to end up doing. Um, or set up all of the turtles where I want walls dug out, because like these four I haven't excavated behind this at all, so there's no real reason to dig those out yet, but these, I wanted to connect these rooms here. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah, so I'm not crazy, I can make things work, because the past couple episodes, or uh, this, this whole episode, I basically was talking about how I kept breaking my scripts, so I wanted to, wanted to prove it, that I can make things work successfully. Um, I just... You know, have to work at it. What is this? Nope. No. What, what is that? That looked important. Silver. Never mind. I got all excited. It was like a, a white ore. I thought it was iridium. Because it looked different. <sighs> is that a beehive? I think that is a beehive. Yeah. That's like a rock beehive. Whatever. Okay. Um... Yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. Peace.